Hello children, how are you today? Hope you have a great day today. So children, today teacher Elmi are going to recap back the lesson all the anim the local animals that we learned this week. So are you ready children? Borneo pygmy elephants. Sun bear. Proboscis monkey or long nose. Orangutan. Rhinosaurus hornbill. Black shrew. Dugongs. Pangolins. Malayan tiger. Malayan giant black squirrel. Sumatran rhinos, slow lorries, tapir, and pintura. Okay, children. Now, Teacher Elmi are going to share with you two local animals. Okay, children, this is Chichi Army's favorite local animals for this week. The pangolins and the Malayan tiger. Let's start with the pangolins. This is a pangolin and it lives on the ground in the jungle. It's a type of mammal. It means give birth. And pangolin eats insect. Pangolins is solitary and active mostly at night. They love to eat insect. And pangolins have long snout and even longer tongue. So that's how they catch all the ant in the ground. It has full ammo of scales and the startled pangolins will cover its head with its front leg like this exposing its scales to any potential predator it touch or grab it will roll up completely into a Oh, while the sharp scales on the tail can be used to lash out. So that is about pangolin children. Aren't it interesting? Next is the Malayan tiger. It lives in the jungle and forest regions of South and Central America and Southeast Asia. And it also types of mammal. And the Malayan tiger, tiger is carnivore. Means it eat meat. It's a meat eater. The Malayan tiger stripes are narrower and darker. And is one of the smallest size tiger. Only tiger species that can swim. Wow. Do you like to swim? Yes, everybody likes to swim. They can eat entire elephant. Wow. They are when they are born, they are blind children. They cannot see anything. And the Malayan tiger locally known as Pak Belang. So that is about Malayan tiger and pangolins. Thank you for watching children. See you next time. Bye.